All right, everybody, this is just a little video about doing something fun, making a soundtrack to a little movie or a video. So this is for GarageBand, and I understand not everyone has access to GarageBand. But if you do, this is a fun little activity you could do. Um, I've done this a few times, and it's, it's fun. So first, what you need to do is, if we're making a soundtrack to a video, you need to have a video. So that could be a home video, or it could be something you downloaded on YouTube. To do that, you just find the video you want on YouTube, copy the URL, and then just Google YouTube downloaders. I usually use Y2Mate. But um, just know that if it's copyrighted, you shouldn't be posting that anywhere. But um, So I already have this little Mickey Mouse video that I made. I didn't make. I downloaded. So it's just... Little Mickey Mouse. Okay, so we're going to open up GarageBand. And I've clicked GarageBand. And this is what comes up. You're going to choose Empty Project. And then you're given these choices. Um, you could do a few different things. I'm going to do the software instrument. You can change this later. Um, if you want, you could record yourself playing. and You'd, you'd click this right here that, to use the microphone. Um, we're going to do the software instrument, though. So I'm going to double click that. Okay, there's so many options. I'm not going to teach you every single thing. I'm going to get rid of this. We're going to get rid of these. So that gets rid of that side where you can choose instruments. I'm going to get rid of down here at the bottom by clicking that. Okay, now um, what I'm what we're going to do is we're going to you just click and drag and you bring your video over and you just put her in. And there she is. Okay, so I'm going to close this for now. So if you see up here, here's the video. So if I scroll over this way, you can see the video is up there. All right, and then this is down here. This is the uh, audio to that video. Okay, so since we're doing the soundtrack, we're going to delete this audio. So you click it so it's highlighted. Here's what it looks like when it's not highlighted. So if you do anything, it won't. If you press delete right now, it won't work. You have to tap on it. Now it's highlighted. Now I'm going to just press delete and get rid of it. So now there's no sound except the metronome, which I'm going to turn off right now. So this is the metronome. We're just going to click it to get rid. Uh, we're also going to get rid of this count in. Okay. Now, if you want to watch the video as you're listening to your little composition, um, you click right there. So this little thing right here, this little box, and then here's the video that you can watch at the same time. I'm gonna make it smaller so I can see what I'm doing, and I usually put it down here. Now when you press play, you can see what's going on. But you don't hear anything because we got rid of the audio. Okay, now, there's a lot of the different things you could use with GarageBand. We're gonna use uh, the loops, which are over here. So this loop browser. Tap this, and you've seen this when I've done this in class, but here are all these loops that we have downloaded. Okay, now what you can do is you can sort these by these different uh, parameters up here. So you can sort them by instrument, and these have different categories of instruments. You can sort it by genre, or you can sort it by descriptors. And the way it works is when you sort, you're actually not sorting, you're filtering. So uh, you can filter by tapping on something. So let's say we want to do everything with guitar. So now what it did is it got rid of everything that doesn't have guitar in it. So all of these loops have guitar in it. Okay, now you can add more filters to narrow it down even more. So we could change it to a genre. So it's guitar still. So we could do country guitar, tap on it. And out of the loops that I've downloaded, this is it. I just have these country guitar loops. Okay, to get rid of a parameter that you've highlighted, just click it again, and now it gets, now you have access to all of the loops that are guitars. Okay, if you want to go back, we can change it, get rid of guitars, we can do all the brass. I don't have very many. <laughs> okay, and then you can go to descriptors and be like, I want acoustic brass, which all of these minus the one that got rid of. Okay, to start over, you you click this 
x, and now these are all of the loops that you have. Okay, so let's say um, we just want to make something up for the beginning of this little Mickey Mouse cartoon. So we're going to go in here. I like to start with instruments, but you can do it however you want. So let's start with, let's do a bass. So here's the bass. And sometimes I just like to listen to what's out there. So I'll just click it, and I just try different basses until I find one I like. <laughs> Why not? Okay, so to use this, you just click, and you're going to drag over here. So let's go ahead and release it. I'm going to re resize this. Okay, so if I go to the beginning, press play. <laughs> okay, now what's fun about these is that you can loop it. So you, you hover your mouse over the edge of this loop until it makes that little loop-de-loop -loop circle thing. You click drag and it'll extend this loop so it does it over and over again. And you see how it makes little dips? That shows you the, the edges, the ends of the loops, the beginnings and the ends. Okay, up here these are measures. So this would be eight measures and it goes to measure nine. And measure nine it's empty. So when I play it, it's going to loop it. Okay, now what we can do is we can add some more stuff. So let's do drums this time. I'm going to do all drums, and this time let's do the descriptor to, to filter it, to narrow down the filtering. So let's do distorted. So sure, why not this one? So I'm going to click and drag, and I'm going to bring it over here, not an audio track. So let's put it underneath. While I'm here, I'm going to get rid of this piano. So I, I tap it to highlight it, right click, and I'm just going to delete the track. Now it's out of our way. Okay. So here's what it would look like or sound like with the bass and the drums. Okay, and what I sometimes like to do is I like to let one go for a while so we can kind of hear it. And then I'll bring the next one in. So I moved it over by tapping and dragging. And then we're going to bring it over this long so it goes at least to right here. So now when we listen to it... Okay, and then it's sometimes fun to add something else in there. If you add too much stuff, it gets too crowded, but you can add three or four maybe. Sometimes I only use two. Let's try electric or piano. And let's do a genre this time. Let's do funk. Sure, why not this one? Okay, so I'm going to click drag and let's put it right here. So it starts with the bass, then we add in the drums, and then we add in the piano here, the electric piano. I'm going to extend it out, and here's what it sounds like. Now something to keep in mind that I should have talked about first is up here you can change the tempo. So you click drag and you can slow it down. So if we do that, now here's what it sounds like. And I don't want to do that, so I'm going to edit undo. Okay, you can also change the key signature right here. So right now it's in D minor, you can change it to a different key. So here's E minor now. Okay, sometimes it's best to do that before you uh, you start. I forgot to tell you about that. So we're going to go back into D minor. Okay, so let's say that's as far as you want to go for now. Okay, and we're trying to make this line up with the movie. So if we're up here and we kind of look, where does that end? So here's right about there is where, if you look down there at the bottom left, that's where the this kind of intro stops. And I, I like to try to line up this, this, the music with the measure numbers. It's not always possible when you're doing these, but sometimes it makes it easier to, to make things line up. So let's say it goes that far. Okay, so now we're here with this haunted house thing. What you can do is press play and kind of watch and see what's going on. Ooh. Okay, and then you would just you would fill in what you want to do here. You would pick more stuff. Okay, now there 
There is another little trick that sometimes is fun to do, and that's to find sound effects or music online. So let's go to YouTube, and let's do lightning sound effect. And then you just check out what they have. That works. So remember, these might be copyrighted, so you, you don't have just carte blanche to do whatever you want. I'm going to go to this YouTube downloader that I like to use, put it in here, download mp3. Okay, so now I have the, the mp3 downloaded, it's right here, there's lightning, so I'm going to drag this in, let's put it down here in its own little uh, track down here. Okay, now what you can do is make it line up with the lightning from the video. There it is, so we need to make it go a little bit later. I use the space bar to start and stop, which makes it easy. So you click where you want to go, or space bar, now it plays. And then that's it. You just go through and you can add music, sound effects. You can even add dialogue if you want by recording yourself and putting it in. And then you have your little video. When you're ready to uh, be done, you would go to File, Movie, and then export audio to movie. What it does is it, it exports the video and that's it. Now you have a fun little video that you could show your family or whatever. Remember if you upload it to YouTube, uh, you'd be breaking copyright if you uh, downloaded any, any sound effects or the video itself. But you can share it with just friends and stuff by just sharing the video. Thank you very much. I hope you had a fun time working on this project. Go ahead and give it a try. It's a lot of fun. I'll catch you on the flippity flip.